Welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Smart Quiz Builder is the world's best quiz and survey plugin for WordPress. Today, I'm so excited to let you know that we have released a game-changing new feature, an amazing new feature, a feature for which we had a lot of demand, a lot of requests. It was definitely not easy to implement it, but we have done it, we have released it. And the feature I'm talking about is the ability to generate a PDF report at outcome level. So what this means is say that you have a personality quiz and you can do this with all types of quizzes. Users complete the quiz, you send them to the right outcome based on their answers, right? Based on their responses, you send them to the right outcome screen. You can create all of these outcomes in SQB and the outcome they get sent to depends on their answers. On the outcome screen, say that you want a download button. Uh, and when users click on the download button, you want them to be able to download a PDF report that has their results, that has their outcome. And you don't want to manually create a PDF for each one of the outcomes. You want SQB to automatically generate a PDF report and allow your users to download it. And you want to be able to also customize and personalize the PDF report. You can do all of this in less than 10 minutes using Smart Quiz Builder. I can't wait to show you what we have done. Smart Quiz Builder is the only quiz plugin that can do this. In fact, you can get SQB to upload an image for the first page of the PDF, upload an image for the last page of the PDF. You can design your header, footer section. Everything can be fully customized, but it looks great by default. Let me take you to the back end to show you what we have done. The cool thing about this feature is now you can create a product out of your quiz. What this means is, uh, say that you want to use a lead magnet quiz. Typically what you do is you will have a bunch of questions, user answer questions, they opt in, and then you will let them download your worksheet or your checklist or any other training or courses, whatever it is that you offer as a freebie. In this case, because PDF itself is a product, what you can do now is when users sign up, you can allow them to download PDF report and that could be your freebie, which means you do not have to generate a checklist or a worksheet or some other form of content as a freebie. Your PDF itself could be a freebie. So now you can use your lead magnet quiz uh, as the lead magnet product. So this is a backend of Smart Quiz Builder Manage Quizzes page. And I'm going to show you how I have set this up for an existing quiz, but you can do this with a new quiz or existing quiz. And if you want to add a new quiz, just click on this and you can create from scratch or you can use a pre-built template. Now I used this template, content marketing template, and I'll show you how I have set this up. But it doesn't matter if you're doing this with a new quiz or existing quiz. Anyway, so this is the quiz. I'm going to click on the edit button. So this is a basic settings. Now this is a scoring quiz, but you can do this with all types of quizzes. All right, so this is a scoring quiz in the display settings. Um, just default settings, nothing special here. And this is a scoring quiz, but there are no correct or incorrect answers. So I have turned off correct, incorrect answer display. You can do that here. And you can see this section towards the bottom of this page. And again, this is in the display settings tab of your quiz. So when you're creating a new quiz, you can just use all the default options if you just want to test the PDF. And you can always come back here and customize it later after you publish the quiz, but just use all the default settings and go down here and make sure this is enabled. Enable PDF download on the outcome screen. This needs to be enabled for this to work. All right, so I have enabled it here and by default it's off. Make sure to turn this on and then you can customize the text that goes here, all right? And the color and width, height, all of this can be customized here. So this is step number one, right? If you want to allow users to download PDF, First thing you have to do is enable it in the display settings tab of your quiz, whether it's an existing quiz or a new quiz, same thing, make sure this is enabled. So here I have selected template number five. It doesn't matter what template you use. A quiz in SQB has four screens. There's a start screen, question screen, then the opt-in screen, and then the outcome screen. But if you want to turn off start screen, if you want to directly start with questions, you can do that in the display settings tab, you can turn off start screen. Show start screen, you can set this to no if you do not want to start screen. Question screen, there are four questions in this quiz, you can see. And first question uh, is a single choice question. I have assigned points to each answer choice. I also assign negative points to some of the answer choices. Question number two is a matrix style question. There are five options here. I have assigned points to each option. And question number three is image based answers. And again, I have assigned points to each answer here. And question number four, is a matrix style question, all right? So there are four questions in this quiz. This is a scoring quiz. Users answer the questions and depending on their final score, SQB will redirect them to the right outcome screen. So I have four outcomes here and the outcome they get sent to depends on 
their scoring range. So depending on what the score is, SQB will redirect them to the right screen based on what range it covers, all right? So that's how the scoring quiz works, but they will see an opt-in screen first before they are redirected to the outcome screen. Again, opt-in is optional. If you do not want to force them to opt-in, you can turn that off here under lead generation. And one more thing you can do is if you want to display your questions after the opt-in, then you can change that as well here. In lead generation screen section, you can see when should the opt-in form be displayed? Do you want to display it after questions or before the questions? So you can decide whether you want opt-in first, then questions, or questions first, and then opt-in. All right, so this is how a quiz works. Anyway, so moving on to uh, the outcome screen. First thing we did in the display settings was we enabled the PDF download, right? Second thing you have to do is under personalization, you can see it says PDF. So there is a new short code that's in here now. Copy this and enter it wherever you want the download button to show up for the PDF. So what I have done is under each one of these outcomes, I have this short code. You can see here, under each one of these outcomes, I have this short code. So what this means is uh, when SQB redirects users to the right outcome based on their answers, based on their score, uh, it will send them to the right outcome screen. Under each outcome, there will be a download button. When users go to that outcome screen, they will see the download button. The download button that they see will look like this, download PDF. You can change the text to say whatever you want, but that's what they will see. When they click on the download button, it will open a new tab where they will see the PDF and they can download it. They will see the PDF and the PDF they see will be fully customized based on the outcome, all right? So they are going to see, let me show you this. Do you see this icon right here that says generate PDF? This is the one you need to click to customize your PDF. You can see for outcome one, this is the PDF they are going to see. And this content is fully customizable. By default, when you create a new quiz or when you edit your quiz, this is what you will find there. But if you want to update it, you want to add additional stuff like I have done here, you can see I have added this uh, personalization tag here, name. So it will have their name in there because they are opting in. So SQB knows what their name is. And um, this is the content I have added here. I've also added an image here. You can add an image. Click on this to add an image. You can add whatever content you want using this editor. The personalization options are here. All of these personalization tags you can use in the quiz. And this is for outcome one. You can do this for each one of your outcomes. So you can add different content for each one of your outcomes. By default, even if you don't add anything, it will have their quiz response. It will show them the questions, it will show them their answer choices, all of it. But if you want to add additional information here, you can do that and you can fully customize it. You can design it differently for each, for each one of your outcomes, but you don't have to. You can initially use the defaults and then you can come back here and update it as you need. But this is the body section of the PDF. I'll show you how you can customize header, footer, and the first page and the last page of the PDF can be customized as well at quiz level. But this is how you can customize your PDF. And even if you don't customize anything, uh, you can just see what it looks like by default. All you have to do is make sure the download PDF short code is there uh, on the outcome screen. So first thing you have to do in display settings, make sure enable PDF download is enabled. Second thing you have to do in the outcome screen, make sure you enter this short code and you can get the short code from here under the personalization section. You will find it here, enter it here. Next thing, if you want to customize the content differently for each outcome, you can click on this icon here that says generate PDF, and then you can select each outcome and you can update the content if needed and save it. And that's it, all right? So we have done some basic setup of the PDF and now you can publish the short code on any WordPress page and you can test it and see how it looks. Now let me show you how you can customize the header and footer section of the PDF. So let's go to the settings tab. All right, so this is the settings page. Under advanced quiz settings, you can see there is PDF report uh, tab. So click on the PDF tab and you can see it says background color. You can change the background color of the header section. You can change the background color of the footer section and uh, logo image. You can upload a logo image. It will show up in the header section towards the right. And first and last page image. This is optional, but I recommend that you do this because it will look pretty good. So you have the option of uploading the same image for all of your quizzes. So if you don't want to upload different images for different quizzes, you want a standard image for your business, for your product, and you just want to use the same one as the first page and the last page of your PDF, you can do that. But what I recommend is use a different image for different quizzes 
That way, when users take different quizzes, it will look like a completely different PDF report. So what I have done is different images for different quizzes. You can see this is my quiz. I have uploaded an image for the first page. I have uploaded an image and you can adjust the height and width. You can use full width for this one and uploaded an image for the last page. And again, I'm using full width and this is what is recommended uh, for the first and last page. Use full width image. And uh, this is an image that I actually designed in Canva. Let me show you how easy it is to do this. And when you log in here, use A4 document, right? And then you can select one of their templates and update it, you know? So you can use like, for example, this one, click on say Pexels, and you can find an image, for example, like this, and then you can add whatever content you want here. This is how I have done uh, my start page. And you can use an element like this if you want. And then you can add whatever text you want here. And then you can select add a heading, for example, and you can add it here so it stands out and you can update it with the name of your quiz for example and uh, that's it all right so this is how easy it is and now you can use this image you can download this and use this as the first page and then you can do something similar with the last page so you can use the a4 template in canva uh, to design your pdf first page and last page it's super simple to do this and then you can go back to the settings this is how i have designed this one and then you can upload the image so here you can see i have this image here I have this image here for the last screen uh, of the PDF and that's it, all right? So this is at quiz level. So you can upload different images for each one of your quizzes. So make sure to do this, all right? Otherwise it will not show the image. So if you use this setting, I want to use different images for different quizzes, make sure to upload a first page image and last page image for your quiz uh, where you allow PDF download. You don't have to do for every single quiz, but only once where you allow PDF download, all right? That's it. Go ahead and save it. So now let's go ahead and test it. So this is the short code for this quiz, this one. I have copied this, I have entered this here on this page. Let's go ahead and test the front end user experience and how the download works. All right, so this is the quiz. I have not done any customization, just the default WordPress editor. All I have done is entered the short code on a WordPress page. So this is the start screen, continue. This is the first question. I'm just going to select this. Second, I'm just going to select some random answers here. Continue. This is the third question. I'll select this one. This is the fourth question. And again, I'm going to just select some random responses. Continue. This is the opt-in screen. Let's go ahead and opt-in. All right, you can see it says you got a score of 50 out of 55. And there are four outcome screens in the back end, as I showed you earlier. And the outcome that users get sent to depends on their score, uh, their scoring range. So this is the download button. You can see here, it shows up here. This is the one we customized in the back end in the display settings tab. All right, so here I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. All right, so you can see this is a PDF report. So this is the first screen. And this is why I was saying um, upload an image for your quiz because it will look pretty nice. You can see how it looks here. So this is the first page and you can do this for each one of your quizzes. You can upload a different image for each one of the quizzes. And you can do this in the settings page. You can see here, I have uploaded this to be the first page, this to be the last page of this quiz, this quiz. You can select each one of your quizzes and upload a different image. And you only have to do this for the ones where you allow PDF download, all right? So that's what I have done. I have uploaded an image for the first page. I have uploaded an image for the last page. You can see how it looks, it looks pretty nice. And you can see this is the header section. This is the image, a logo image, and this is the title. And you can change the text color of this in the back end in the settings page. You can see here, this is what it's showing there. And you can change the text color, font, all of that. This is the footer section. You can change the font and the color and all that here. And this is the footer section right here, all right? This is the header section that will repeat on each page and the content. So this content that you see here, it's coming from the outcome screen. So you can see this is the outcome screen. This is the outcome screen. And here, when you click on this icon here, generate PDF, you can change the content for each outcome. So that's the default content. This part is the default content that will already be here. This, this part, right? It will already be here, but you can add anything you want here. Here you can see I have personalized it using name, right? And so you can see in the PDF, it says, my name here, that's because it says, it has my first name here, that's because I'm using the personalization tag. So as I said, you can fully personalize and customize the content of the PDF uh, at outcome level. So the information that's shown to users, the content uh, of the PDF depends on the outcome. 
This is a scoring quiz, so you can see the result is here. Again, you can update the content, and if you do not want to uh, add the result here, you can remove it. And the cool thing is you can do this with all types of quizzes. For example, say that this is your quiz, what type of online course you should create. Uh, and uh, you can click on edit button here. Now this is a personality quiz. The one that I showed you earlier was a scoring quiz. This is a personality quiz. But again, the settings are all the same. No difference. You just come down here and make sure enable PDF option is enabled, right? This is this option should be on. You can update the content. You can change the color to whatever color you want. You can increase the width, height. You can change the text to say whatever you want it to say. And now this is step number one, right? So go ahead and save. The next thing you have to do is in the outcome tab of your quiz, uh, make sure that you add the short code, right? PDF short code, this one on each outcome screen. And I have done that here. I'm going to center this like this and save. So I have now added a download button to all of my outcome screens. And now the next thing you have to do is if you want to customize the contents of the PDF, you can do that here. Select each outcome, update the content. This is the default content. Even if you don't do anything, it will show them their result. Uh, the questions and the answers they picked, all of that it will show. But if you want to update the content, you can do that here. And you can customize the content differently for each outcome. Go to the settings page, advanced quiz settings, select PDF report. And here now you can select your quiz. Now this is the quiz. What type of online course should you create? Upload an image for the first page. Let's go ahead and upload an image. So this is the image. And upload an image for the last page. I'm just going to use this image. Thank you image. And that's it. Go ahead and save it. So this is a quiz and I have not done any customization. All I have done is publish the short code here. Let's go ahead and complete the quiz. I've just picked some random answers. I'm going to go ahead and opt in. That's it. So this is the outcome and you can see the button shows up here. When users click on it, all right, it will allow them to download the PDF. And I'm not using full width. That's why it's showing like this. So in the back end, make sure that you change the width to full width, all right, for both the first page and the last page. All right, so you can see here, this is the PDF. When users click on the download button, it will allow them to uh, download the PDF and uh, it will open a new tab. They can see the PDF and they can click on this to download it. And you can see here, this is the default content. I have not customized anything here. So this is the last page. This is the first page image I uploaded. As you can see, it's an amazing feature, a game-changing feature, a feature that no other quiz plugin or platform has, and it's, and it's fully customizable. You can fully personalize the contents of the PDF, and it looks great. It looks pretty professional. It will increase the value of your quiz. Your quiz itself can be your lead magnet. I hope this was helpful. I'm so excited about this feature. I would love to know what you think about this. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to your feedback. If you like SQB, if you use SQB, please help us spread the word. We also offer an affiliate program. If you have not checked it out, be sure to check it out. Go to smartquizbuilder.com and click on affiliates to learn more about our affiliate program. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so already. Thank you so much for making the time to watch this video. I'll be back soon with more. Bye for now.